Howdy, y'all. So I got to I got to start off today with a little shout out and a thank you, a big thank you to uh, our local celebrity and author, Curtis. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you very much, Kurt. Kurt uh, has been watching the videos and he uh, he had this amp. He asked me if I you know want to check it out, man, and see what's happening. And this thing is for me. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, everything. Thank you, Kurt. Um, one of the things that you cannot, you can never um, predict is you, uh, things that I love and then somebody gifting you something that is perfect because I love the low end on guitars. Um, I think, I, I know I've made a, I, I think it was a red, red Foreman when I got that one. The, the bass guitar for, for Red Foreman was so tinny. It was like, oh my God, this is so trebly. I can't stand it. Oh my God. It's like, we got to take care of this nasty stuff. And I did through the guitar, but this amp has, it's, it's got, it's got, it's got some nice low end. Nice. Yes, and well, there's more. I, I left some parts out because I can't actually play them yet. Yes, I'm writing things that I can't play, but isn't that what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to set your sights higher so that, you know, you, you when, when you're playing, if you write something, you write it so that you can't play it, so that it does become natural to you. So, you know, kind of like uh, always turning your signal on, even when there's nobody behind you. The reason you do that is so that if you're being distracted by something else, you're automatically going to do that anyway. So it's just the, the same concept, you know, take it a little bit further so it becomes comfortable. So what you actually want becomes comfortable. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing there. And I definitely got to get some headphones on to practice it because um, what I hear in my head and what's coming out of my fingers is a little bit different at this point in time. I'm working on it. I'm getting there and it's going to sound like a hear in my head. One of these days, it's all going to sound like that. That's what this is all working towards. And stick with me, man. It's going to, it's going to come out. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And, and thank you again, Kurt. This is, this is amazing. I got to go like everything, else, everything else with this. When I first started all this, I thought this was about music and didn't even take anything about electronics into all of this. When actually, you know, since high school, I did, high school, you're a boy, you don't need to take typing, take shop. Okay, I took electric shop. Um, since, since since then, you know, everything in my life has been elect electronics, especially low, low level electronics, just because what are computers? And since I've been doing this, I, yeah, I'm old and I've been doing this since computers took a lot of power. Um, and they're, the things that they're doing with things these days is amazing. They take like, Compared to what, when I started learning about computers, they take so little power now, it's not funny. And, you know, it's just watching all that evolution or de devolution um, as, as things go on. It's, it's, it's awesome. And one of the things that I never took into account was that this is also the sounds that you're getting are con controlled by electronics and science. And I, I still say that tone control is not a tone control. It's either bright or muddy. Um, but I'm learning to use the, both the tone and the volume controls. The volume is an amazing tone control in itself. Also, gain. What is that? More electricity. That's all it is, man. So if you think about all this stuff, both in science and it's putting the two sides of my brains together again. And I couldn't do that for a while. And it's starting to come back together again. So... It's a beautiful thing. Now all I got to do is learn how to use this. <sighs> I'll see you then. Always look up.